wow you're saying go to st george because there's nothing to do at uts there's nothing to do here it's so secluded you see the window you see the wilderness over there like that's it <laughs> So is there at least a social life? Can you make friends? Because we've heard at uh, St. George, you can't make friends. And I see you two are like, you know, there's... I think we just got lucky. <laughs> yeah, yes, I think we got lucky. But like here, it's like a smaller campus. So like you have more opportunity to see like the same people over and over again. So. And what are you studying? Um, I'm in public policy. Oh my. <laughs> so it took you a while to uh, remember that. Oh my bad. Three of three. We in this thing. All nighter gang, UFT Scarborough, we're gonna find out what students wish they knew before coming here. Peace! All right, cool. So I'm here with Danya, Dorian, Yamna, Aiden, Leah, Arisha, Lavon, Isabella, Angelica, Maddie, Joseph. Inara. All right, Inara, we're here at UTSC. Okay. <laughs> so listen, what's one thing you wish you knew before coming here? Actually, before that, what year are you in? I'm in my first year right now. I'm a fourth year. First year. First year. Second year. Same thing. First year. Perfect. So what's one thing you wish you knew before coming here? You're in your first year, so your ideas are fresh. We're almost at the end of the school year. What's one piece of information you'd give to yourself? Um, I wish I knew more about time management. Um, I think it's really important to like have your time allocated properly. No, not like okay, I'm gonna study. Know exactly what you're gonna study, cause like you fall behind and it's like a disaster. It's so hard to catch up. Yo, time management, time management for sure, cause like I'm procrastinating and yeah, it's not fun. Yeah, I tell myself to prepare to work really hard because the GPAs here are pretty low, interestingly low. I'd say like 60 to 70 percent per class. And if you really want to succeed and, you know, go to a good grad school, you need to work overtime. So what are you taking? Uh, economics. And do you find that it's just economics that has a low GPA or is it like school-wide? I'd say it's school-wide. So it's easy to fall behind here at UTSC? It's so easy to fall behind. Like with the blink of the eye and time passes by so fastly, you, won't even, you don't even notice it. Jeez. Okay. So, does the school offer like any resources or help for students who have fallen behind, or how does one who is in your case or in your situation catch up? Uh, I'm sure they do. I don't know of them that much, but yeah, I'm sure they do. Okay. Well, I'm not falling behind, but I'm just saying it's easy to fall behind. Um, I think they do offer a lot of resources, but they're not really spoken about often. I um, I've only had like one or two professors that's really allocated her time to be like, if you are behind, you still can catch up. If there's an issue, I still can help you. But most professors, I think, are more hands-off when it comes to that. So you're just breezing pretty much, too. You're of course. <laughs> and what are you taking? Uh, paramedicine. So is it that easy that you can just breeze through it? Oh, no, no. It's not easy. It's, it's, it's hard. But, uh, yeah, no, I'm just not time managing well, you know? So, yeah. Um, I would say to pick a different campus, <laughs> to be honest. Why is that? Um, this one's just not fun. <laughs> it's not fun here. Is there like nothing downtown, to do? No, go downtown for sure. I learned that like all my free time is gone. <laughs> just be prepared for that. <laughs> and when did you realize that? How early into the school year? Definitely like the second month. It was pretty quick. Yeah. So is there at least a social life? Can you make friends? Because we've heard at uh, St. George, you can't make friends. And I see you two are like, you know, <laughs> there's... I think we just got lucky. <laughs> to be honest, yeah. I think we got lucky. But like here, it's like a smaller campus, so like you have more opportunity to see like the same people over and over again. So. And what about friends? I mean, you got two other friends here. They're not going to offer a helping hand. No, they definitely do ha offer a helping hand. I think friends are like key to passing and doing well because we need each other. We need that group study time. Pa send me your notes. What's the answer? <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. And what do you study? Um, I'm in public policy. Oh. My <laughs> So it took you a while to uh, remember that. Oh, my bad. Okay, and do you think it's all of public po public policy that has that problem, or? Um, I don't think so. I mean, if you want to blame me for it, I guess. I, get, I think everyone's different, to be honest, so. I also think it's more like a competition kind of thing. Like, I feel like it's just U of T in general that, like, we always have to compete, which isn't, like, a good thing because, like, we all go to the same school. It's, like, it should be, like, a community. Like, I don't think it's U of T is good with that in general. So the competition factor is at this campus as well. It's everywhere. I'm sure it's everywhere. But like you feel it here definitely for sure. 
from like a, a social standpoint, it's, it's really easy here. Like everybody's really open. I know for me, I got to know a lot of people through the baseball team here and also like ran some sports up at the Pan Am Center with a, with a bunch of other people. So like just doing that, you get to know faces on campus and like meet new people and they'll always hail, it, hail you if they see you outside of that. So like making, like so socially it's great. Academically it's tough, but like they give you the resources to kind of get stuff done. You find that w with a lot of other schools, the library is usually like quite area where you come to work, which like it is here, but I found that um, when I did start coming to the library, I started to make a lot more friends. Majority of the friends that I have made are from the library. So if you go to UTSC, <laughs> this is the place to make friends. At the library. At the library, yeah. <laughs> All right, so Dorian, right? Yeah. Do you think it has something to do, like, because we've heard it's a little bit difficult to talk to people here, right? Like, there's nothing really to do or, you know, people to talk to, whatever. So do you think because, you know, you're a tall man swagging out that it may be a bit easier for people to, you know, be a bit more comfortable around you? Yeah, I mean, I mean, it, it, if, if you're a shy person, then that kind of like hurts your case to kind of meet new people. But you just got to be willing to like, you know, be the first one to say hi. And then after that, it's it's easy. If you say to yourself, you know what, I'm feeling lonely here at UTSC and I want to make friends, what would be a good opening statement? to, you know, break the ice with someone? Oh, man. Um, honestly, I feel like a lot of people here are very friendly. Uh, just, like, a casual smile will do it. Yeah. <laughs> Can we get just one example for the camera? A casual smile? <laughs> I've been smiling this whole bit. <laughs> I'm just playing. <laughs> we heard uh, from a young lady that uh, when she makes friends in the gym, all she has to do is smile, right? Do you have a secret weapon? <laughs> my secret weapon for the gym no 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 no. to meet when you meet new people like how to break the ice um for, and this is yeah. for students this sorry to cut you off but this is for students who you know may not be as socially or socially adept i should say as you know people with you know a little bit of uh swag or whatever i know exactly what it is so like in a lot of the classes especially with like those second year third year classes you got to break for discussion groups right and so while you're in the discussion groups just like get to know the names around you and then when you see that person outside of class, that's your in. You already know them. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, cool. <laughs> um, probably that procrastination is not a strategy that's going to work. And when did you find that out? Uh, two weeks in, <laughs> probably. <laughs> not very late in. Okay, so have you uh, employed any strategies to avoid procrastinating now? Or what are you, what are you doing now to stay on top of what you're doing? I honestly just like try to like force myself to like stay in like one spot and just grind it out until I'm like at least kind of caught up. That's the only strategy I have right now, but. I wish the school had more advertising about what the program you're getting into entails because you really don't know. Like you're already confused when coming to university. So you go into your program, you're like, what am I going to end up doing with this major? Got you. Yeah. Okay, so touching on that, right? What are you taking? Arts management. And do you regret taking arts management now that you said that? Not necessarily that I regret it, but I just don't know exactly what I could get in the future out of that. I wish I knew that I could get a nursing degree and be guaranteed a job and still have the ability to go to med school. Okay, so you can't do that now? I can, but the degree that I have, I'm not guaranteed a job like I would be if I was a nurse, nursing. Okay, so does UFT offer nursing? Uh, yeah, the downtown campus. Okay, and what are you taking now? Uh, human biology and health studies. All right, so are you saying that instead of doing human biology and health studies, you would have preferred to do nursing because you're guaranteed a job afterwards? Yeah. So you didn't know what arts management was before, so did you just like <laughs> eeny, meeny, miny, mo and pick it? No, not necessarily. It was more like um, my dad wanted me to do business. Uh, okay. I like the creative side of things. And so it was kind of like a mix, right? And now I'm just like, wait, what do I do with this now? <laughs> so just to get dad off your back. Yeah. Okay. Like, a, like the mix between what I wanted to do and what my parents wanted me to do. Was there a reason why you didn't know this information prior? Like, was it not told to you? At, did you come to orientation week and did they not explain it to you? Or are there no advisors here that would have given you this information? 
Um, I was kind of aware of it, but I didn't really have an ex- advisor explicitly state that to me. It wasn't written in, in like any U of T book or anything like that, and it wasn't said in orientation. I would probably advise them to start doing research on what they want to do as a career. Probably would have started that in grade 10 if it was me. Um, I feel like that's pretty early, but you could have avoided so much if you just start early. A lot of universities actually came to my high school and they were talking to us about different programs and stuff. I just wish they had like alumni students come, or, like more of them, and then explain to us each of the um, programs that, that they had to offer. That would have helped us uh, you know, have like more knowledge on what we were trying to get ourselves into. And then if we had, if we got something and we didn't like it, what would we do? Uh, what other options were there? Um, that would have been awesome. All right, so there you have it. Everything you need to know about UTSC. Was there something we missed? Leave it in the comment box. Otherwise, like, subscribe, and I'm off this. Yo, all nighter gang in this thing. Easy, man. And what are you taking? I'm taking psychology. Okay, perfect, perfect. <laughs> Wait, you guys aren't friends? Did you just meet oh, today, or? No, no, we're we're both in like, our art class together. Yeah. I want to minor in like some art type of thing. Okay. Oh, you yeah. are? Yeah. <laughs> Why are we getting to know each other right here? <laughs> we didn't talk about that beforehand.